Seattle Sounders 2, Real Salt Lake nil. Nick, what was your thoughts on tonight's match? I think we played good, uh, finished well. Uh, definitely could improve creatively, but defensively we were super sound. Yeah, I know. Two games, no goals conceded, six goals scored. It's, are the Sounders back? Are they that guy again? I think with the, the health back and, and signing a bear, obviously, and having JP uh, be able to play constantly, we, we are back to the Sounders that we were before last year. Does this kind of do these two results kind of fill you with confidence that the Sounders can push for a supporter shield for an open cup like some sort of trophy this year like we're not going to go empty-handed domestically in MLS and in the US trophies that we can win this season. I believe yeah, with our depth that we have now, I think we can definitely push for a trophy uh, whether that be MLS Cup at the highest level or even open cup if we focus on that. So I definitely think we could not go empty-handed there. Man of the match tonight Jordan Morris, okay. my guy. I love Jordan Morris, so love to see him scoring goals. But is he gonna I win the MV is he gonna win like an MVP, a Golden Boot this year? If he continues, keeps giving that uh, fantastic headers that he keeps <laughs> giving, but not super likely. Yeah. <laughs> so I've asked everyone this so far tonight. Eber's got two goals in two games. Raul's now back. We saw him make a 10-ish, 15-ish minute cameo. We play Cincy next. We play LAFC next. Those are kind of bigger games on paper. Definitely. You know, we're going up against teams that are going to be offensively a lot stronger, defensively in the midfield. Do you keep playing Eber because he's the guy scoring goals, or do you go back to your main tallies man in Raul Ruiz Diaz? Personally, I think Eber, let him, let him keep riding the hot hand. He's been playing fantastic. It was such a great signing for us. So let him keep going, maybe even through 50, 60 minutes, and then sub Raul if we need to. But... I think Ebert's been the been the guy so far, and keep going. What are you now hoping? These are now I I mean, I think these next two games against Cincy and LAFC are going to be the tougher test compared to our games against Colorado and RSL tonight. What are you now hoping for in those two games? Since they're going to be tougher opponents, a little bit more expectation. Now that we are top of the table, what are you hoping for in those matches? I'm hoping for at least a clean sheet and a couple of goals scored. I'm expecting hopefully a win next week. Uh, just keeping that defensive sound. Uh, continuing that's what we're looking for that's what I'm looking for